Hello, my name's Bram. Today I'm going to be giving you a bit of a rundown of my car, the Yeti Sled, and we will be starting it, or hopefully starting it, first time with a new turbo setup and the new engine management package. First, I'll give you a bit of a rundown of the changes. Um, firstly, turbo has been mounted down underneath there, low mount, basically directly below the driver's side head. Air intake into the turbo, through the turbo, comes out around here. It's your front mount intercooler, uh, piping up around into the uh, intake manifold. The manifold has been reversed for a forwards facing throttle body. Um, out the exhaust, there's a custom set of headers that I've uh, made myself. Coming out, into a merge, straight into the turbo. The turbo is a GTX 3076R. Yeah, it's got a teal V-band housing on it as well, not standard, uh, standard bolt housings. Out the back of the turbo is basically the dump pipe that I've built. And out to the rear, where it hooks into my rear muffler right down the end. All the rest of the piping is uh, fabricated by myself. There is a wastegate, a uh, TurboSmart Hypergate 45mm and straight out you know, external screamer pipe. Because the turbo is low mounted of, uh, and the turbo is actually below the sump level, to get the, the oil to drain back into the engine, first it drains into this uh, sump, the sump that I've built here, coming straight out the drain. From there, at the lowest point, there's a uh, pipe that siphons and that goes around to here. There's an oil pump, it's a Mo Mocal oil pump that pumps it back around into the sump up there. I don't know if you can see that, it might be a bit dark up there. Now, there's also vents from the top so it doesn't pull vacuum. It's un untested at this stage, but hopefully it will work and not cause any issues. It's one of the things I'm going to be looking at. Uh, so back up at the top, um, catch cans, pretty much self-explanatory. Got a uh, fuel filter coming off the hard line. Well, first, sorry, coming out, out from the tank, goes down to a surge tank down there. There's a radium surge tank with the fuel red built in for a dead end fuel supply system. Comes out the, um, out the surge tank into a filter, around, splits off, goes down to each rail. There's no return, given that it's a, a dead end system. Got a gauge so we can uh, dial in the fuel pressure. There's a fuel pressure sensor. Um, that's wired into the ECU. I'm using one of the TGV channels. Obviously, with the TGV deletes, there's uh, that wiring is is usable. Uh, straight down to the ECU. Over here, we have a oil pressure sensor. Again, using the opposite side TGV wiring. Um, additional coolant temp sensors. Uh, there's an intake air temperature sensor down there. I don't know if you can see that. Screwed directly into the back of the plenum. Uh, all these go into the ECU to help it uh, help it function. Where the Subaru original turbo is, I've, uh, basically, obviously with the low mount that's gone, in its place I have the coolant overflow tank, which is usually down there. That's uh, custom fabbed up by myself. Um, down there is a uh, accu sump, a Canton Racing uh, oil oil accumulator, uh, supposedly you know, uh, help with oil surge and, and pre-oiling duties. Um, what else has changed on it? Um, all the intercooler piping, there's a blow-off valve, the turbo smart. Um, I'll put these straps on, on any coupling to hope, hopefully hold it against the pressure uh, so it doesn't get blow-offs. In order to do the uh, reverse manifold, I've had to relocate the alternator. So there's a uh, custom bracketry and uh, adjusters that I've, I've made up myself just to shift it over. Obviously no air conditioning, so that's uh, where, it, where it goes. Um, intercooler is ducted. I'm hoping this is gonna help with um, stopping air getting around it. Might have to pull it off if it doesn't work. Um, now onto the oil system. In order to get the low mount turbo, I've had to get rid of the original oil filter. Um, well, it's sort of in the way. Um, so what I've done is I've got a takeoff that comes around, oil lines into a uh, oil filter, there's a remote mount oil filter housing, 
and there's a big K and N. There's a big filter down there. And there's some Defi gauges not hooked up yet. Um, and that goes back around out the filter and back into the engine to do engine oiling. Coming off that is a thermostatic um, takeoff. And there's an oil cooler. I would have liked to have had it facing the airflow, but I couldn't make it fit under the bumper with the intercooler piping. And it's just a bit tight, so instead it's sideways and I've got some uh, PC fans to give it some cooling duties. They are switched by the ECU and I can set that dependent on oil temperature or, or any other variable I want. Um, you're probably wondering what this cylinder is down here. This is an engine pre-oiler of uh, since the car has been sitting for a quite a while and all these new oil lines are obviously dry, I don't really want to start it without um, giving it a good uh, pre-lube. So the idea here is you have a pressure vessel, in this case an old LPG cylinder. Um, there's an air pressure regulator coming from uh, the air compressor over there. I can set it, set, using the regulator I can set the pressure in. There's a little valve. Um, stop the air going in when I don't need it. That pressurizes the tank. Over here, I've welded on a fill port. It's a aeroflow, it's a diff, diff filler. Seems to hold the pressure, uh, it doesn't leak. Allows me to pour the oil in, so I can fill that uh, with oil. Right now, there's five liters of oil in there. You've gone to a new oil, the uh, Motel, Motul Sport. It's a 550 synthetic. Ain't cheap, but supposedly, well, who knows with oil, but we'll give it a go and see what happens. Um, so coming back back to this, with the oil in there, you pressurise it with the regulator. Um, this here was well, another gauge. This fitting goes down to the bottom like a straw and it will siphon with the pressure. The, it'll push oil from the lowest point of the tank. The big straw all the way down to the lowest point. A valve and we've got this hose running up to the engine. Uh, there's a bit of fittings here I've basically hooked into where the original oil pressure switch uh, would have gone into the engine. Hey Dave. A uh, one way valve, so that when I unscrew it, hopefully that will stop the oil leaving the engine. I can leave it running when I do it. Um, yeah, so what else is there? Let's just show you the ECU. Yeah, stickers, what's in the car. Down here, we've got a mess of wiring, which is <laughs> the engine management. It's obviously not fully wrapped up just yet. I've name start it might need to make changes it's a link g4 plus thunder it's the top of the line uh, engine management currently it's plenty of ins and outs and all the motorsport features and just yeah heaps of heaps of cool stuff on there so i don't really know my way around it yet but i've been, been playing trying to draw up a map for it i think it's ready to start mm, glove box is out so i can get wiring in there Hydro handbrake, the STI uh, cylinder there, the inline double double chamber cylinder, one of the uh, rally ones. Little switch to cut out the DCCD. Um, I think that's it.